let's work on hip key together. So for those of you who are having trouble with the straddle hip key and aren't quite ready to do that, today I'm going to teach you how to do a hip key without having to use your straddle. It's a little bit easier um, on the strength level and the flexibility level. So it's accessible for everybody, including people who can do straddle. So I'm gonna give you a demonstration of what I mean. So the thing that I want to emphasize, and I'm going to talk about this as I go through the exercises, is what I call putting on tight underwear. So that's the part of the hip key that is right here. If you think about this as being a tight G-string, or a t not quite a G-string, a tight like high cut underwear. It doesn't want to be down here like shorts. It wants to be up here like high cut underwear and you want to feel that putting on tight underwear. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that right here. So here, the underwear is down low. I'm going to put on tight underwear right there. See that? And then I go into my hip key and it's nice and tight in the right position in my hips. We're going to work on how to do that now. So first we're going to tie a knot in our tissue. So we're first gonna work in with the knot and then if you don't need the knot, we can work the same exercise without the knot. We wanna work on holding the tuck, our knees tucked up to our chest and then bringing one leg down and the other leg down. It's like a bicycle, but it's what's gonna put on our tight underwear. So I'm gonna get into my knot, just like I usually do, nice and high so that I can hold myself um, in a hollow body. I'm starting with my knees in so it's easier to hold and then I'm going to rock myself upright, my knees stay in and then I'm going to bring one knee down while the other leg stays up and then lift it and the other knee down. Easier said than done. So if you don't need the knot, take your knot away and do the same thing without the knot. So holding your elbows bent ideally here. Bring your knees up, leave one knee up and the other knee comes, toe points straight to the floor. Lift the knee, other knee straight to the floor. Lift and bend, lift and bend. Then we're gonna get back into the knot and work on the second part of the hip key. So initially in the hip key, we have to lift our hips up in order to grab scissor, scissor legs to grab the tail of the tissue under our legs. And then once we have the tight underwear on, we have to roll the other direction in order to roll into the hip key. Those are really hard to do. So here's one exercise that can help you with the rolling and the scissor. So we're just gonna put ourselves in our knot. Dun, da, 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 da. Bring our knees up. My knees wanna go behind the tissue here. And I'm gonna lift my knees and bring them up and over, keeping them together to one side. Lift them up, try and bring my knees towards my chest and go to the other side, keeping my knees towards my chest. Lift them up, go to one side, lift them up, go to the other side. Really keeping your knees towards your chest. Notice when I'm at the side, my booty's going up towards the ceiling. It's not falling down behind me. My booty's going up towards the ceiling as my knees go to the floor. My shoulders are going towards the floor with my knees as my booty goes up towards the ceiling. Alright, so now we're going to put it all together. Take the knot away. So we're going to lift the booty up to scissor grab the tissue. I'm going to lift both knees up. I'm going to put on tight underwear by bicycling my, my leg that's closest to the tissue towards the floor as my other knee stays up. And then I'm going to roll over bringing my booty up and my shoulders and knees down. Here I go. Scissor. Both knees come up. The leg that's closest to the tissue pushes down to put on that tight underwear. And then this knee is gonna drive me up and over to bring my booty up and my knees and shoulders to the floor. Here I go. Give it a try. For more tips and tricks, go to sweetretreatsdr.com.